in this second game of the King of the Losers final. We have Gunman 1, 3, 5 in red again, playing as the Chinese on the right, and Aloysian in orange. He's decided to uh, switch things up a little bit, go for the English on this occasion. This game was played, I don't know, like a week, two weeks after the last one. Um, so maybe a little practice has gone on, maybe a little bit more uh, experience has been had. And we're switching into the China, into the uh, into the English for this one. We got Cameron in the booth with us here as well, of course. Yo, 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 yo. So far, looking interesting. I'm I don't know any English builders or Chinese builders build orders, but this is looking heavy on the wood for me, from my perspective here. Or Aloysian. And also, we, we do have a food supervision coming in for Gunman135. He wants to get that fuel age as fast as possible. Well, don't mean to interrupt you, but could you stream on the Discord end? Yes, I forgot. Different app. <laughs> Gotta stream that. <laughs> 222 is a Dark Age boom strat. Okay, well, in that case, well read. You know your enemy. You know he's not going to try to rush you or anything. You know the Civ that he's playing, so... Good stuff on that. And we can see uh, the benefit of the Chinese supervision here. If we wait for one of these guys to drop off. You can see they're carrying 10. They drop off 12, right? One guy. Okay, I mean, it was a double for 24. but So it's like a little bit of extra food on the top of things. And there's that mining camp on the far side of the TC again. I'm so curious about that. 97.2. Well... Good enough on that assignment, I guess, Aloysian. Hopefully we didn't drag you down too far with your, with our uh, distractions. Gunman, I think, spots the uh, mining camp of his enemy here. The issue there with the Imperial officials, right? I, I don't know how many you can make this early on, but you have to make them out of the TC here, so you're going to be losing villager time. Um... And you have to micromanage them. They show up as an idle villager if they're not doing anything. You can either have them supervise like this, which is probably what you want to do most of the time, or you can have them just automatically walk around and pick up tax. For example, this building has 50 tax gold on it right now. Every time you see them dropping off, it gets a little bit more. That's its own thing. You can manually do that, or you can let them do it with, like automatically with the AI, but they do often suicide themselves into into the enemy if they do that, so you gotta be a little bit careful. As Aloysian runs past the hand cannons of the TC. He's gonna make it though, he's gonna make it. And it looks like we had a little bit of miscalculation from Gunman. Gonna have to go for the long distance wood camp. But good on Aloysian to, uh, you know, get some early vision down, figure out what uh, Gunman's up to, and keeping that uh, scout alive as well, so... Yeah, good stuff there. I would say one last thing about gunmen here. Uh, these straggler trees are definitely your more efficient choice if you're chopping wood and you don't have a lumber camp up. But, yeah, let's uh, switch perspective for a second. Barbican going up for gunmen as well. This is, uh, this is Ancient Spires. A map with a lot of spires around. They can help form some choke points maybe, but the real attraction is the lakes with the shorefish on them. I personally, as a Mongol player, love to drive my Gur over here at the beginning of the game and just drop it, get these sh shoreline fish, which gather at a much faster rate than deer or sheep or farms. Maybe the English farms are better? I don't know. That doesn't say like gather rates on here, does it? Got a little bonus. I wish it did. That'd be a nice tool tip to add, devs. Gather rate. Not how much it's increased. It's like a hidden rate. Use the villagers to gather food from this poor helpless sheep. Oh. Is so that feudal age? This Barbican will protect the stone and the gold for the time being. So, big fan of that. And also the uh, shorefish, but I... Looks like neither player opting for those shorefish right now. This guy's still supervising the mill. 
doing some good work there. Pretty good balance for gunmen at the minute, in my opinion. If he's looking to go up to the next age as soon as possible. And yes, Aloysian, uh, China is de is primarily defense late game. So if they do have a pretty solid feudal age Chukunu rush timing. But most often you'll see China <laughs> played in the late in later stages. The That's scout goes down at yeah, 11 yeah. HP. <laughs> the scout is on the, the brink here, man. He's oh, man. flirting with death. He's doing the most right now. Man, this guy has a lot of vision. Look at this radius. We've got the Council Hall coming up for Aloysian. So the 2-2-2, now that we know, was like a Dark Age boom strategy. Um, that explains the much slower Feudal Age timing here for Aloysian. He's taking it slow, he's comfortable, wants to get a strong foundation. Produce as many villagers as soon as possible. Eight buildings seems like a ton of work, but it would help with knowing how to counter. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to build all eight. A lot of times they don't build... I mean, this uh, Imperial Academy Barbican is a very powerful starting. Like, the Song Dynasty is great. I don't know if we can see the bonus that that provides anywhere, specifically. But it's... Uh, it's a villager production speed bonus, so if you keep the TC queued with Phil's gunman, you will pull ahead of your enemy. He already is ahead. Well, actually, no, Aloysian is ahead. He'll even it up, at least. We've got some longbowmen, English unique units coming out for Aloysian here. A little strail border. So in this game, they actually have access to their unique er units earlier in the game, or earlier civilization. So am I seeing? Am I understanding that correctly, based on what you just said? Yeah. So we're seeing them come out of the council hall, which is the age up landmark. The landmark system, I feel like, really allows the game to give you a lot more variation hmm. per civ, for example. So you're not just going to get unique units out of the castle and castle age like in Age of Empires 2, necessarily. Um, so, like in this case, you get longbows in age of M or in uh, the feudal age, which is pretty powerful. The English love to do a longbow rush and then just ram down the enemy's TC because they don't know what to do because it's so fast. Throwing a couple spearmen just in case there are horsemen about. But other uh, unique units that come out of early buildings, there aren't many. I'm not sure. I guess the, there are unique variants, like the French uh, Lancers, they get access to from their Age of their I keep saying Age of Empires, their Age 2 landmark. The Knights. Uh, looks like a misclick from Aloysian here, I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. Got to pick off the scout, he, yeah. no more vision well, over here. No more vision over there, I'm not sure oh. what happened there. He that was the second scouts, scout. But it looks like... Um, Oh, oh, that might even have been a distraction intentionally. Oh, hitting the house in order to distract while this tower goes up. Tower going up. Tower fast up. Tower is now up. Got the villagers inside. Gonna be able to hold, gonna be able to get Aloysian away from that, that, that outward base, outward expansion. So good on Gunman to I'm respond pushing to back. that. Gold is secure for now. You gotta watch out if you're up against longbows because this is not necessarily enough to protect your villagers that are mining over here. You gotta have the tower in the right position so that they can't get around it and outrange it. A lot of times you'll see people go for the first upgrade that adds plus one range to the tower as well so they can at least match the range of the longbows, which is six? Wait, range. Where is it? Seven? Seven tile range. And this doesn't have hand cannon slits, so it doesn't have any range. At this point, more longbows coming out for Aloysian. Just longbow, longbow only mode right now, and one scout. On the other side, Gunman is going for a full boom and not making any military at all. Just the static defenses. A little bit of an APM check here. Aloysian picks off Alex. one vill. Yeah, one down. But also a return, um, return kill official. from Gunman to a longbowman. On a side, right? so good, good trade. Picked off this little long bowman here. Woo. Rip. 
I'm talking and moving the camera, so we're not gonna get all the cinematics. <laughs> going for some stone now? For gunmen, I'm wondering if that's gonna be... And probably TC's. Unless we see too much aggression from Aloysius in here. Would expect another town center with this much passive play from our red player. Second mill goes down for the English. Another one of their unique bonuses is that farms in the range of the mill, which is just the, the one ring around it. Plus 15%, and then going up from there by age, uh, harvest rate. So this, the only civ where farms are really a good choice opposed to like the natural resources. So you won't see the English going up for uh, berries really or deer. They're more comfortable just making farms and staying in their base. Aloysius should find another uh, position, losing a scout, wow. but I don't know if he picked off any vills there. Doesn't look like it. No, got, got a. Sh I mean, he's able to again find. He's finding another avenue to try and get some poke in, wanting not wanting like, gunmen to get ahead. This I think is outside the range of these buildings, so it would be a great spot to just camp. But I guess he doesn't uh, want to. He doesn't want to overcommit right now. Gunmen have been doing a good job of just responding to these uh, pokes from Aloysius, not panicking, just kind of playing it safe. Uh, earlier, he got the tower up, was able to get those villagers inside, keep them safe, keep them alive. And um, good on him. It looks like he's trying to get some walls up on these openings, wa wanting to be sure that he's not going to get poked in anymore. Yeah, and, I like oh, this. Oh, as long as he can outboom gonna... his enemy, this is yeah, great while right yourself now, in like this. Those longbowmen are going to be moving in, so the villagers are going to be backing off, going back to the town center. Um, they have the range. They just on pick those one vill, one shot that villager, yeah, but, but can't uh, do too much right now. Yeah. And Aloysian is going to stop that wall from going up, and he's just going to try to be as annoying as possible here. He's going to try to get that, that is... town. Definitely true. He's being annoying. Gunman a little bit frazzled right now. Not sure what to do about this imminent threat. He's going to drop a tower. I wonder, actually, that is in the range of vision here. But Alushin probably looking back Alushin's at base, gonna, doing eco stuff. He's going to move stuff. up, trying to pick out those villagers. He might be able to get the tower. He might be able to stop the tower I think Gunman's up. committing to the tower. No, Loses tower is four bills for to... that? Maybe five? five. Yeah, he lost that was a costly of... investment there. Yeah, it was. He does get it off, though. Lost a few villagers, but he does stop Alushin from pushing in. Alushin pulls back now, and he's going to allow yeah. Gunman to finish that wall. Yeah. So, good play by good play by Gunman there. Cost him, but he was able to hold on, keep himself alive in that uh, section down there. And we do have the Chukanu out for, uh, for Gunman, so it depends how many he can get. They will do well into the longbows if they can close the gap on the range, because the longbows are... I mean, we can look at it right now. Seven tile range, right? These are 4.5, so multi-shot, high damage, but correctly, correctly micro. The longbows will do well, and uh, I believe we do have a king's palace. Where is it? King's palace here, which is basically just a town center. It's just a town center. It's just a free town center as your age up building, which uh, is is what people usually opt for. I think. I think it may be. Uh, Fires a little more arrows. Terrible placement on that. Yeah, it's a little sus, I guess. Maybe next to the gold, or even like here would be good because you get maybe you get like on the wood line and the deer a little closer. But these walls, I think. Well, okay. I was gonna say they go up, but these three first longbows created are still up here harassing on the north side. And the Chuka knew. I think the numbers weren't there. You can see. Similar amounts of, of losses, but the setup camp, it's here. They're healing an activatable ability that you can only do out of combat. Sheesh. There's a lot here that I'm learning about AOE 4. It's not an AOE 2. <laughs> you don't see this very often. This is not something that people generally do because it's just small enough. But it's coming in clutch right now. Again, a lot of of value back yeah i mean and, that heal is gonna i guess try to keep him keep him moving gonna keep him those units healthy and try to get some more poke in wonder where those low health chuko new went they're up here now they moved north yeah. 
New age begins you... for gunmen. Wait, not yet. That's the king's palace. The one thing I'm I, I'm noticing though is that while gunmen's you know getting those walls up, keeping himself safe, he's stuck in his little corner right now. And because Very of that, Alucian's been yeah, Alucian's been able to expand out to other parts of the map, set up uh, resource set up areas where he can get more resources. And that's giving him really great map control. And um, because of that, he's going to have access to more resources than Gunman is right now. Setting up a proxy archery range base just north of Gunman's walls, too. Looks like you got a tower up here. Might push these longbows back far enough to finish the wall. And that's going to put three gold piles inside of his enclosed area, sort of. So, we'll see. I, I'm worried about... Gunman's villager production, though. He's fallen behind. Aloysia now on, almost on three TCs. Um, earlier, before the, all that action was going on, we had Aloysia asking, do you like MAA or Spears more to help with the bows? Um, I probably... Well, I guess if you're the one that's using the bows. Probably Spearman? At least... Definitely, like, through mid-castle age, especially... Well, I, I, it sort of depends, right? If your enemy is making... Horsemen, which is the natural choice if you're up against longbows, just throw some spears in there and they can't touch you. Man-at-arms... I mean, I guess it kind of depends if they have a lot of archers, basically, is when you go man-at-arms. But uh, despite being securely walled up now, Gunman just not having the strongest boom, especially yeah. compared to his enemy, and it's going to be a little bit problematic, it looks like. We hear all the military production sounds coming out from the <laughs> eastern, from the western side of the map. You know, a, a cool 16 more longbows moving out, ready to rumble. We're getting a veteran spearmen here. Veteran Longbow, just the uh, the Castle Age upgrade versions of these units coming out. Some eco upgrades, some anti-range, some range armor. Wedge Rivets, good choices on that. I've been looking for some gates in the walls. He knows he's trapped in here, I think. He wants, he wants, uh, he wants to be able to breathe a little bit. Also, fully upgraded outpost, two hand cannons. It's seven tiles range, so it matches the longbows. It really depends on the positioning if you're trying to defend a resource point. Keep in the north for Aloysian with two vills. going to slowly make its way up on that stone mine. T minus 55 minutes till the uh, 2v2v2v2, 2v2, 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 by the way. Astronomical clock tower down here. Blacksmith going for all these tier 1 upgrades. Gunman. He's doing what he can. Getting all this stuff in. Getting all, all things that he needs researched. And uh, Aloysian denying that entrance in the wall over there. So that's going to... But it you is... Kill that villager. And yeah. buildings that are in production, I believe this is also applied in Age of Empires 2. Take more damage... Than completed buildings. So hmm, interesting. Either way, he's denying it being fully completed, so that's going to give him another ab angle of attack. And Is this eight. Aloysian doing a really good job of just keeping that thing closed. I say they take more damage. They're still taking the minimum of one damage per shot it's, because of how much armor they have. That wall's not going to go down anytime soon. <laughs> it's going to take a while. David, welcome, welcome. Got our last 1v1 game, perhaps, unless Gunman pulls this one through. Didn't cancel the gate. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, also it's got half health just because it's half built, too. So, a little bit concerning, maybe. At the same time, Aloysian doesn't really have a finishing army, right? He's setting up encampments yeah. of longbows all around. He, I want to look at the vision right now. I forgot I have control of this. Look at this, he's constricting him like a snake right now. Is that a castle on the right side that's going to be going up? Uh, first I want to point that? out, actually Aloysian has vision of every single way past this point. This lake is covered he's too. Got... 
He's got, got him locked in. Got him locked in. A castle is going up. Keep is going up with one villager for Gunman135, though. It's going to be a little while, but it'll be powerful, at least for the time being. And this is, I mean, this is pretty solid army. Surprised to see no cav. No uh, no horsemen or anything from, from Gunman135. But also, it looks like the sheep finally ran out here. So, going to have to move into some farms, but he's low on wood, really struggling with this wood situation, so a little bit of a farm transition snafu for our red player. On the other side, we have Imperial Age coming through for Aloysian. Windguard Palace up here on the north. He's going to go for a breakout. I mean, this looks he, like he has he could. At this point. He does. Uh, he does kind of need to. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to do something. He's just. I mean, Aloysian is just bleeding him out right now. There's not. There's not a lot a gunman's been doing aside from you know just falling off and building up and. Again, with this kind of army comp, like uh, we're in the king of the losers bracket, right? So you don't expect yeah. insane knowledge, but just like ten horsemen could just wipe Orange's army right now. So, you know, yeah, knowledge so, yeah, for the future. Yeah. So. I mean, obviously, Gun is not responding to this at all, and obviously, Aloysius is just going for poke most of the time. But he's hoping yeah, he to outboom the spammer. I think is it's kind of the only win condition Gunman has. If he has more units and more production, he can turtle for a little while, a little while longer. But we have God Vision, and we know the reality of the situation. Go hard on the archers and hope for the best. Yeah, that's why you sh you just like. I mean, I guess you want to read what your enemy's doing, right? But does go throwing a few side. spears in there will do a lot of work. And, uh, Aloysia not moving in. He does have some. Are those trebuchets? What are those things set up? Four rams being produced in the field by the oh, military units. He finally hey. researched siege engineering, which is the tech, the prerequisite technology in the blacksmith. And uh, here we go. Currently in the game, this is the only way to, to get rams. You have to make them through siege engineering and then through the menu with the infantry units. Uh, the upcoming season four patch will allow you to make rams in the siege workshop though. I'm looking forward to that. Big ram enthusiast over here. We have plenty of ram enthusiasts in our group, don't we? <laughs> I can name at least one or two that are- that Name at least one or two maybe, yeah. Again, Gunman just going ham on the gold, supervising the gold mine. I think he's got one supervisor on every resource yeah. right now. Uh, probably doesn't need this. Like, shift at least two thirds of these guys to wood at this point. But yeah. that said, if he's not careful watching that wood mine, it's gonna open up a door, and that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, there's, there's gonna be a hole. It can be hard to tell sometimes, but there can definitely be like one more tree needs to go down. And there's like. A hole here, so <laughs> we gotta watch out. Rams moving in on the north. Four rams in total here. Not quite going to the ranch, but still a good number. We do have boiling oil uh, on this uh, keep, so power does go down. So gunman is sending his units over, finally responding to this attack from Aloysian. Uh, Looks like he's well. He's got spearmen against longbows, so that's gonna go extremely yeah. badly. Yeah, so he has. So those longbowmen are going to have some really good range. They're going to be able to take care of this spearmen before they can even get close. Um, it looks like he's going to be able to take care of the bat of the, of the rams. Of I are, uh, oh, he's gun, he's tasked Aloysian the spears coming. to go after the longbows apparently yeah, good instead. Call, but Aloysian is also on the bottom side as well. He's going to be able to come. He's coming in on another front. He's ramming on the left. Ram. He's found the hole here at the exactly the perfect time. He's going to deny the resource that yeah, gunman needs the able, most right now. He's going to be able to just kill all these villagers. Yeah. Okay. We need the UI there. back to see those vill deaths go up here. Yeah. Keep goes okay, down. So, Two rams survive here. Yeah. A gunman does able to is able to kill the attack. Is able to kill the and I mean, on all the top. The value of the Chuka new mass with like uh, ranged defense here, they cleaned up yeah. those longbows. Like great stuff on that. But we've got another ram coming in. More longbowmen on the bottom side. Gonna start poking in, and he does. Yeah, he just cleaned. Oh, he killed. I think all the wood line is just uh, <laughs> it's just forfeit at this point on the oh, wood line. No. 
He could buy plenty of wood, though. 4,000 gold in the bank. Four times as much as his enemy. Maybe not quite, but you know what, I'm, you know what I mean. Resources per minute now. now firing from he brought range. the trebuchet in. Graham is just sitting there, not sure what he's waiting for. Maybe he's just waiting for that tower to go down. But, yeah, it looks like Aloysian is in really good control of this game right now. He is looking good. Maybe a sneak uh, for gunmen, like delete this wall, run down here somewhere to get some wood, and delay as long as possible. But I don't know. I don't know if it's there. <laughs> He's gonna have to try something, but unfortunately, a spearman coming again. But there is a knight there. Finally, to something for the spearman to counter on the field. Looks like the knight is able to handle things, though. Plenty of plenty of granaries up here now. Plenty of farms. And the horsemen are coming out for gunmen, but the unit diversity is also starting to go up on Aloysian's side as he's really ramping up this attack. Yeah, North of the base is all gone. Some good looking good hand time. cannons up here. I'm not sure if the villagers are intentional pull. They do have short bows. English villagers are the best in combat because they can range. <laughs> uh... But I think they might just be, uh, you know, a little drag box villagers. Landmark does go down. So with that, the defensible front of Gunman's base is, is all gone. Villagers are pushed off the farms. Granaries no longer operating. Back in the base of Orange, we have some Windguard Raiders being produced. You don't see these every day. That explains why he's getting the Knights. He didn't actually make too many stables or anything. Most of the time we... We expect the Windguard army, but I guess you don't need that many traps, so you might as well just keep it working, right? That uh, landmark, the H4 landmark, just gives you a selection of, of various units for a very steep discount. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Another nail in the coffin, I think. Another another nail and another coffin. Yeah, interesting placement, David, on this Imperial Palace landmark. I, I mentioned this in the previous game. It doesn't shoot anything. Uh, it doesn't have any defense, but as far like into the map as you can get it, just to provide vision, it has a crazy good vision radius. You just want it to uh, not be where you already can see. This is the edge of the Imperial Palace, or of the, uh, what is it called? Imperial Palace vision radius right here. So it's like crazy. And yeah, Aloysian is starting to um, diversify some of his units. Moving but pretty not, heavily into hand cannons. Yeah, like but, but it's not going to matter too much at this point just because he's. I mean, you could make any unit right now. And yeah, be fine. And they could just spend everything, but it's not going to matter. I think it's looking, it's looking over, I think. Gunman on 44 idols out of 47. Where are the three that are working? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Did he sneak out? No, Gunman, that's, uh, that's, not, that's not red, that's orange. Oh, we got a few choppers over here. Okay. Main TC goes down. And I like this a uh, lot more, this game. From, Al from Aloysian, finishing it with the Trebs instead of the Camel Archers. Good stuff. Yeah, good call. Is able, is, did learn from his last game, did provide some siege units that were going to make attacking those buildings a lot easier, making them go down much faster than some flaming Camel Archers could do.